the coach in Cardiff. Well, he looks almost certain to be resigned by the Cardiff Devils, and he's going to move very, very quickly to try and lock down some of his experienced players, although there will be a couple of notable departures from Cardiff during the summer. Phil Ozer, their outstanding netminder, who was rumoured last summer to be going to Norway. Well, he is going to Norway this summer. He has agreed to join the Norwegian Elite League, and uh, he will be a loss for the Cardiff Devils, and indeed a loss for the BMI Baby Elite League as well, because he's an excellent netminder. So, uh, along with other clubs looking for new goalies, the Cardiff Devils will be in that market as well. Brad Voth, Max Beerbrower, and Sylvain de Chatelet. Remember the guy that they released early in the year and then retained, and he then subsequently went on a tremendous run of form. Those three guys are all expected to re-sign in Cardiff in the next couple of weeks. But Tyson Toplitsky, the classy defenceman at the back for the Cardiff Devils, he's expected to move on as well. He's understood also to be attracting interest from within Europe, possibly even from the DEL in Germany. Uh, Rumours regarding the Phoenix squad? Well, there aren't any at this moment in time because Tony Hand has decided that he's just going to let Sleeping Dogs lie for a week or so, while obviously while he's away with the Great Britain programme, but that isn't stopping him doing some work on the recruiting front. We're receiving uh, resumes from players and indeed from agents all the time, and uh, Tony's building up a list of players that he's uh, possibly going to show some serious interest in, as well as the interest in the players that he wants to retain from last season as well. And uh, But the great one is keeping his cards pretty close to his chest at this time as to who he'd like back and uh, as to who the potential targets will be for the Manchester Phoenix during the summer. It goes without saying we'd like to retain the likes of Joe Tolari uh, after scoring 55 goals in his debut year in the Elite League in the UK. But uh, Joe has an Italian passport and uh, there have been some overtures to him from the Italian Federation, but their rules are that uh, if he hasn't played in Italy, then he has to play for two years in Italy before he could play for the national team. So if Joe Tolari has designs on playing for the Italian national team in world championships and maybe even Olympic tournaments, then he would have to go to Italy, and that would indeed be a loss for the Manchester Phoenix. But he's not given a firm commitment one way or the other just yet. Joe left early uh, to go home because his father uh, was a little bit ill uh, right at the end of the season. Uh, otherwise, Joe would have been at the Man of Ice Awards dinner on the eve of the playoff finals weekend. But he went home, but he is in contact with the Manchester Phoenix club. And as soon as we know exactly what direction Joe wants to go in, be it to Italy or hopefully, fingers crossed, for, to be retained by the Phoenix, we'll keep you posted here on Phoenix TV News. Uh, just mentioning the Man of Ice Awards then on the Friday night ahead of the playoff finals week and a superb evening in the Gateway Hotel in Nottingham. The Man of Ice Awards, a tremendous evening, professionally hosted by Comtech Presentations, of course, one of the major sponsors for the Manchester Phoenix. It really was a superb evening. Black tie dinner, lots of penguins and monkey suits walking around, but it really was a tremendous evening. And uh, of the nine awards... Well, the Phoenix picked up two. Joe Talari, we've already mentioned, Joe Talari picked up the best newcomer and he fought off some pretty tough competition there, most notably from Colin Hemingway from the Edinburgh Capitals and Joey Talbot from the Sheffield Steelers, who both respectively had marvellous first years in the BMI Baby Elite League. And then the hard as ice for the toughest player in the league, well, Brett Cloutier won that and that uh, was a very popular um, award indeed. Brett stood up there and literally challenged the other tough guys in the room that if they want the trophy next year, they're going to have to come and take it from him. And that, that certainly lay, raised a few laughs within the dining room that, when, when Brett made that statement. We had other people up for awards as well. Joe was also up for forward of the year and player of the year, but on both counts was beaten out by, not surprisingly, by Adam Calder of the Coventry Blaze. And Tony Hand perennially was up for best British player but that went to Jonathan Weaver, who also picked up the Defenceman of the Year as well. So of the nine awards on the night, five went the way of the Coventry Blaze. Uh, two went to the Manchester Phoenix. And uh, Kevin Bergen picked up the fans' favourite. Coventry must have had six then. Coventry had six, Phoenix two. And Kevin Bergen from the Nottingham Panthers picked up the fans' favourite. Tremendous night. And uh, if you were unlucky... Uh, with your raffle ticket purchased to get a seat at that dinner, 
then get your raffle tickets purchased early for next year because it is a night not to be missed indeed and it will most definitely will be happening again. Well, that's just about it for this wrap up here on Phoenix TV News and we'll keep you posted throughout the summer of developments within the club in terms of sponsorship and advertising and of course the news that everybody wants to know on team recruitment. See you soon.